Jason here at the DVE store. Wanted to take a few minutes to show you something that I think is pretty sweet. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos, you probably know that I really like this software called Memo Live. And uh, they've got something coming up that's going to be in the next release that uh, I'm pretty excited about. So I wanted to give you a sneak peek. So we're going to go into this document called PTZ Demo. We're going to go ahead and go full screen here just to maximize what we can see. So by default, when you open a document, you get uh, the uh, built-in FaceTime camera. Um, we're going to go ahead and kill that. We're going to bring in another source, which is our Blackmagic Design Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. Um, we've got a camera feeding into that, which is coming into the MacBook Pro via Thunderbolt. So we're going to go ahead and bring that over into our layer stack. And we'll make that live. We can see Abby here. She's helping us out again today. She's always, you know, she's always ready to jump in and help wherever she can. A great uh, co-worker. So, <laughs> um, okay, so we've got our camera feed coming in. We're going to go ahead and add another layer in the layer stack. So we're going to hit the plus. We're just going to type in PTZ. And what do you know? We have a PTZ Optics controller layer. So the first thing we need to do is give it a video source, and in this case it's going to be camera 2, which is our Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. And so now we can see that we've got our video source here. We're going to go ahead and make this live. Uh, we need to type in the IP address of our PTZ Optics camera. So now we've got the MacBook Pro and the PTZ, Opt the PTZ Optics camera on the same network, uh, which is necessary for them to talk to each other. So we're just going to type in the address of the camera. We're going to click out here. And we get a little message here that it's connected. It gives us the IP address. Now, what we can do is uh, move the camera around so we can actually do this. Uh, we can zoom. We're all the way zoomed in, so we can zoom out a little bit. I'll show you how that works. I'm going to zoom back in as far as I can. Go back this way a little bit. Still fine-tuning the uh, control here. Okay, we're going to get out of this uh, full-screen bit here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, save this as a preset. That'll just be preset 1. Now we'll go ahead and zoom all the way out. Make that preset 2. And we'll just go, uh, maybe we'll zoom in on this other camera. Oops. There we go. So we're going to make that preset 3. Now we can go up here uh, to the upper part of the control panel and we can actually name these positions so that we can easily uh, just at a glance know what we've set. So position one was the uh, was the close-up and we can just e quickly create a shortcut for that. We'll just push one on the keyboard and two was our wide shot. We're going to click two for a shortcut. Three was our camera close-up, and then we're going to hit three right there. So now we can just use the keyboard and move between our, our various shots. 
there's one, there's two, there's three. Pretty cool. Back to one. Now you can uh, use more than one PTZ Optics camera, and in that case you would bring in another PTZ Optics controller layer, and you could uh, set additional shortcuts for the second camera. Uh, in some scenarios you'd want to use different keyboard shortcuts, or if you wanted to move two cameras at the same time to both to each to their own preset position, you could actually use the same keyboard shortcut and uh, have them both moving at the same time. I haven't tested that, but I'm pretty sure that would work. So each camera would go to its own position, all with one keyboard shortcut. So I can see that can be really good in some scenarios. So that's the, the basics behind the PTZ Optics controller. Uh, I, I'm just excited that the, the guys at Boink's software have decided to integrate uh, this camera uh, into their software. It just gives you more options. Um, it's a great uh, camera for the price. This is just uh, a lot of fun to have this here. So hopefully you learned something. Uh, if you have questions, put them in the comments and I'll answer the best I can. Or just shoot me an email at jason at dvestore.com.